Barbara Streisand is a role model for many of the happy campers our Mo Rocca went to see and hear on stage. If grease paint is in your blood and you've always dreamed of a life on Broadway, this is the place for you. This is probably the only summer camp you'll find where, where the kids would say it's all about the craft. I don't care if he's a nobody. The bigger the theater geek you are, the more popular you're going to be. Hey, everybody, let's put on a show later on Sunday morning. Happy campers are having fun and expanding their horizons in summer camps the world over, as we'll be seeing all this month. This morning, Mo Rocca starts us off. If grease paint is in your blood, and you've always dreamed of a life on Broadway, this is the place for you. And maybe tomorrow I'll find what I'm after. Welcome to Stage Door Manor. All right, welcome home. A theater camp for kids nestled in the Catskill Mountains of New York with show tune sing-alongs, <laughs> costumed counselors, hey, who we got? and yes, where funny girl don't tell me reigns supreme i'm a big barbara streisand fan since the age of two it's always been barbara streisand Loud to rain on my don't tell me not this is probably the only summer camp you'll find where, where the kids would say it's all about the craft mickey rapkin author of theater geek spent last summer chronicling the high drama of theater camp <clears throat> so here we go then Just 280 campers aged 10 to 18 coming from as far away as Australia for the chance to tread the boards in one of 13 shows ranging from the musical Cinderella to the Holocaust drama and a child shall lead. Someone's coming. Being a star at stage door has nothing to do with how you throw a football. There is a, a very different kind of social hierarchy here. Um, you know, the most popular kids are not the kids whose parents have the most money or the prettiest kids. It's, you know, it's, it's the kid who could hit the D above middle C. The bigger the theater geek you are, the more popular you're going to be. First time campers Isabella and Callie took to the stage like mice to cheese. Not surprising, when we first met them, they were chomping at the bit. I'm really excited for my first year here at Stage Door. Now, Callie, where are you coming from? Where you... San Antonio, Texas. So, uh, you're, uh, you came all the way from Texas? Yes. Now, how did you find out about this camp? Um... Dad? That's me, yeah, for the most part. I'm a stage dad, apparently. Uh, <laughs> okay. But stage parents are barely allowed past the stage door. After move-in, they're banished till the end of session performances. Please don't use your cell phone this week. Please hand it in. We and for the first week, campers' cell phones are confiscated. Do you mind having to give up your cell phone at the beginning? No, I don't even notice. It's old hat for six-time returnee Beanie Feldstein. It kind of sucks that you can't call your parents right when you get your part and you have to wait four days. But other than that, I don't need to talk to my friends. All my friends are here, so... If it all seems a little niche, it's really not. In the 1970s, there were fewer than a dozen performing arts camps in the United States. Today, there are more than 800. But Stage Door may be the best known. Since its start more than 30 years ago, it's churned out a cavalcade of A-list alums, like Robert Downey Jr., Natalie Portman, and Glee star Leah Michelle. When I was an early teen, this was in the late 70s, early 80s, the least cool thing you could possibly want to be involved with is musical theater. 
When John Cryer of CBS's Two and a Half Men sang and danced his way through stage door, theater camp didn't have much buzz. And back then, boys had to be actively recruited. When I went there, it was for people who just wanted nothing better than to uh, sneak into the second act of Dreamgirls on a Wednesday afternoon, you know. Uh, and sad to say, that was me. Today, there's a waiting list for boys and girls alike. Even agents line up to see an array of shows where the casting isn't just colorblind, it's age blind. What role did you end up with? I am Mrs. Mears in Thoroughly Modern Millie. They don't know my flair for the dramatic. What's the role like? She is a uh, actress dressed up as a old Chinese woman mm. who enslaves young girls. <laughs> Multi-layered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm an orphan. Who are you? Sad to be on a own in the world. What? I kind of had like an epiphany, I guess. But for some at Stage Door, it's not only about the work. After all, these really are just kids. Where is love? 13-year-old first-timer Jonathan Gomolka came looking for more than a good part. Are you hoping you make friends here? Yes, that's a, yeah. I guess a lot of people sometimes feel uncomfortable around me or even at school. So I think that a place like this, I fit in and I belong here, I guess. Jonathan was cast in the musical Once on this Island in the role of the Demon of Death. And as the curtain came down on Jonathan's first stage door summer, what was his review? Did you feel like over the last three weeks you kind of came out of your shell? I think I have. Um, I, when I came here, I think that my self-esteem was not that high. It was kind of low. And like after like our sneak peek, everybody was like, oh my gosh, you did so well. Oh, you're such a good singer. I think that that's really given me a, a boost. And you think you'll come back next year? Oh, definitely. I've had the time of my life. Well, you know what? You're positively glowing. You're carrying yourself like a star. Thank you. A star of tomorrow, shining bright on a summer's night.